Hey guys, so for quite some time I had an exhaust leak sound coming out of my MR2 and I thought it was something with my either the flex pipe or somewhere in the downpipe. But after doing some more figuring stuff out pretty much, found out it's actually coming from the EGR tube, not the whole valve itself which is right there, the EGR tube right down there, right where it connects to that plate. There was a crack. Um, so, I bought a new part, whole system actually, but I'm just using the tube itself. I'm going to disconnect or unscrew that right there. I had to take whatever that part is right there. I had to take this little rubber hose off of that right there. I had to take that off. I'm doing that with a 15 16 inch that. <laughs> um, taking it off and we'll put it back on and see how this goes. Yes, so I have replaced the EGR pipe itself, or the two, whatever you want to call it. As you can see, it's somewhat shiny compared to what it was before. And that silver part, right down there, it is how it should be. Instead of black, completely black like it was before from just all the exhaust. You can see the actual bolts themselves are the same one. That was the original color and that's what it should be now. So, um, that ticking is completely gone. Um, sounds much better, like how an engine should sound. Uh, you hear the turbos blow up quite a bit more. And it's just more pleasant not knowing that it's leaking a little bit. So all I had to do was one bolt right there, one bolt right there, which was actually a pain to get off. Uh, broke a tool or two in the process, but just I had to torch it and eventually they both came undone. And right there, that is, I believe a 14 millimeter socket. Uh, just got that undone. You had to unclip that little clamp right there. That rubber piece came off and I was able to get to it completely and it just came right off and hey, it's all fixed. Again, it sounded exactly like a exhaust leak. In fact, I thought it was for the longest time, but once a mechanic, he was like, yep, yeah, it's cracked right there, fixed it and back to normal. Bought it on primemr2.com, shout out to them. They got, I feel, a very reasonable price. The whole entire system shipped to me for $37. Um, it might vary for you, whatever it is, but still, that, I'd say that's a pretty good fix. And I have the original EGR system, it's, or the new EGR system itself. I just swapped the pipe, is all. So that's that. I uh, hope this guy's hope this helps you guys.